Hi, my name is Lydia Segris and I'd like to welcome you today. We are going to talk about the cognitive load theory and the cognitive theory of multimedia learning. The first thing we'll talk about is what is cognitive load theory? Well, cognitive load theory is an instructional theory built on the premise that the brain can only store a certain amount of information at one time. Therefore, anytime we are designing any instructional classes and even in our practices within the classroom, we have to be intentional in what we're doing. Now, the cognitive load has conditions. They're known as the three characteristics. The three characteristics are intrinsic, extraneous, and germane. Intrinsic can be defined as like the difficulty of the material and it is based on the learner's prior knowledge. Extraneous cognitive load is defined as how the materials are presented to the students and if it aids in the student's learning. And finally, the germane cognitive load is defined as the instructional design that contributes to the students being able to retain the information into their long-term memory. Now, the cognitive load theory has a cognitive architecture and it deals with long-term memory and working memory. Long-term memory is defined as the part of the brain where we store all the massive amounts of information in our brain for a long period of time and we can recall those things when we need them. It's where our prior knowledge comes from. Now working memory is different than that as it has a limited capacity and we can only hold a very small amount of information over a short amount of time. Now we're going to talk about the cognitive theory of multimedia learning. What is a cognitive theory of multimedia learning? It's a theory that's built on the premise that individuals learn through words and pictures. According to this theory, people possess separate channels for processing their